What's up Ninja Clan and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet. As always, I am your host, the Atomic Ninja G, and today, if you remember from last episode, we are going to be taking on the Poison type Team Star uh, and hopefully taking that out today. Now, what I have just realised is that my Talon Flame is poisoned. So we're going to head to a poker center. Oh, there's one here. Okay, and we haven't been there yet. So let's go there. We may stop off for this raid on the way. Um, and if I remember correctly... Oh, what's that? Oh, is that a squirrel thing? Yeah, I don't want that. Oh, ah! <laughs> what is that little goblin thing? Yeah, it's that little goblin thing. All right, cool. Let's... let's an impy dimp. <laughs> impy dimp. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, oh, see, everything's like level 50. Now. So, <laughs> I like that everything's like level 50. Except for when it comes to catching Pokemon. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over to that Poker Center. Uh, we will probably stop off on that raid along the way to get some XP candy. Um, yeah, cool. Nothing much happened. And then we will come back and take on Monsieur Poison, the dark type and fairy type. Okay. They live in groups, pestering and playing pranks on each other to polish their troublemaking skills. Ah, all right. Cool. I like it. Go to my box, Mr. Impman. Impy Dimpy. That's brilliant. <laughs> Impy Dimpy. Right, okay. Um, nerd on, we go. Oh, go this way. Going the wrong way, people. It's very colorful, colorful forest. Wow, I can't talk this morning. Oh, these are all the painty things. Now, this is my thing. I'm guessing these painty guys evolve from those little guys. It, it looks like those little mouse things. I know what I'm trying to say. I think I've got one already. Um, but these are the guys from the advert, right? The, the trailer. I might catch him anyway. And um, this is me having to evolve it. <laughs> uh, plus, if the poison people have one, then at least I'll kind of know what the deal is with types and jazz. Alright, let's catch it. Let's see what happens. Go, great ball. Ooh. One, two, three. Yay. All right. Graphite. Graphite? Graphite. Oh, and Charcadet might be going up. Yeah, Charcadet, level 48. Happy days. Probably need to sort out my team as well for going into the thing. Okay, it's poison type. I reckon we're going to probably face one of these inside that uh, team star place. So each graph AI paints its own individual pattern and will and it will paint the same pattern over and over again throughout its life. Okay, kinda like a brand logo, I guess. That's cool. Right. I'm pretty sure I got a smaller version. Yeah I do. The shrewdle. The shrewdle? Yeah. Okay, so the dragon oh there it is. Oh, there's that little koala thing. <laughs> oh, oh that'd have been embarrassing. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh it's is it a Watra? Is that a Watra? Um let's change our Pokemon. It's a bird type, so anything with electric will do. No, okay. Oh why not? I don't really get to use him very much. Let's go. I think it's a Wattrel. And we have plenty of Dragon Terror types now, so I'm not really interested in catching it. I just want the XP. The, the candy. Yeah, it's a Wattrel. You can tell by its wings. Very, like, straight wings. Very particular, distinctive shape. Okay. Let's. Oh, because it's a dragon. Okay, well, it's a good job you brought Dragon Egg then, Nick, because. Oh, Dragon Egg, sorry. Um, oh, one shot. Okay. 
<laughs> ah, dear me. Brain bloop. That was stupid. Never mind. We still win. Uh, don't catch. I don't need another one. Thank you. Disappeared somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. I don't know why. Just did. So there. <laughs> Okie dokie. Do, 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 do. Right. Let's. Um, nope. What am I doing? Bag? No, I was in the right menu. Oh, wow. Team Star goes a long way off, doesn't it? Alright, let's go bag. And we'll jump across to candies. Who is getting the candy? So. Uh, let's give it to uh, Garganackle. Is it Garganackle? His name, is it Garganackle? Yeah, his name reminds me of uh, Gargamel from the Smiths. So if I do call him Gargamel, that'll be why. It's not done a lot, but it's done a little. Uh, boosted him up a little tad. Let's go get this Pokeball, and then we will let Mirrodon do its thing. Can't ride mirror down here. How about here? There you go. Do, 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 do. You've arrived at your destination. Hi. Okay, so let's heal those up. So what are we looking at? We're looking at um she's poison, right? So I want um ground and psychic. So Garvador is in. Um, let's have a look. Right, what have we got? Right, so I most definitely want to take her. Oh, she's fairy type as well, and fairies don't do well against poison. But she is, I believe. The Oh, I could tear... Which is fire terror type. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Do I have anything else that's... Um... I mean, poison is weak to poison. But then it's poison. So <laughs> it's rock. I don't really have anything ground. Or psychic. I got rock, but I don't think that's going to... It's not quite the same. Oh, ground. Who's this? Oh, frost moth. I could terror type frost moth. But I've got no ground moves. Um. Hmm. Right. Oh, you shouldn't be in there. Uh, and there's another one that shouldn't be in there as well. Yeah, so. But do you know what? Just for two seconds, let's just move him down here. Okay. And also, I mean, I don't think it's going to be a massive problem. So let's just move him. He has rock moves. We'll swap him. Uh, we'll take Talon Flame out. Um, no, I didn't want to excite that. Sorry. Uh, let's... I mean, she has side beam. She has psychic moves. So let's take her anyway. Um, no, let's leave him in because I want to level those two up for the ice gym. I think we'll take... Yeah, because she doesn't have any um, psychic moves. I'm going to have a psychic move. Mirror Court. No. Oh, Zen Headbutt. That could work well. Uh, hypnosis. I do wonder if I should take Gengar. Let's take Gengar. And who are we taking? Oh, see, so this is it. Who are we taking out? Let's take Riola out. Um, and this will be our team. So I need to pick three to take with me. Alright. So let's take her, let's take Gengar, and let's take Turos. I think that's going to be my team. 
that's what we're gonna do. Okay. All right, let's turn around and go straight back. <laughs> uh, nope, wrong button. Okay. Uh, set to destination. Uh, up we go. Okay, one take a slam. It's like right there. So. And this time we get to fly. This isn't flying, it's falling with style. Okie dokie. So I'm excited, guys. We're going to take on the poison lady today. Uh, or guy, I don't know. Can't really see their face. Uh, take on this poison one, and then if we have time, maybe, just maybe, we will take on the fight in gym. Uh, not gym, the fight in team star people as well. So let's see. Are we ready? Yes. Yes, we are. Let's go. Really hope this team works out. <laughs> okay, Clive. Beep. Code red. Code red. Operation Starfall alert. Everyone get into position and defend the boss with all you've got. And rest assured, intruder, we'll deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is, good luck with that. Thank you, thank you. I won't need luck. Um, I'm fairly sure we are going to rock this boat. However, I appreciate your vote of confidence. Ah, look! <laughs> and there they are. Alright, how are you doing, Gardevoir? Gengar is out already. Uh, we're doing well. Okay, cool. So she's doing well against those. Gengar, take those out. Uh, Turos, take those out. Okay. What is that? What is that? Can I just battle it? No, I can't. Whoa! Alright, well, gotta go. <laughs> um... Up, take these guys out. Okay, so I'm not having a problem defeating them. Do you know what I am having a problem with? Finding Pokemon to defeat. Let's take those three out. Yeah, I'm not going to have a problem with this place at all. Because I don't think any of my Pokemon have actually taken any damage. Okay, up to Yep, the Sam is next. Get up. I feel like, um... What's his face from wrestling? Um, oh, Goldberg. Who's next? <laughs> oh, better not. God of all. And I learned yesterday through random conversation with some people that I know um, that God of all evolves. Well, God of all doesn't evolve into two things, but Curly does. There, there's another evolution, apparently. So, at some point. I mean, now I'm a bit gutted that I got rid of my other Curlia. So at some point, we're going to have to either evolve another Ralph or catch another Curlia um, and try and evolve it into the other one, which I think involves an item. So we're going to have to see how that goes. Anyway, uh, he's way above our level. we got to get the boss. Yeah, you do. Get the boss. Get the boss out here right now. I want to take on your boss. Okay. Oh, I like this car. Very cool. I, I like the pixelated design. Alright, Team Star Car. Poison Samurai. Atticus. Let's do this thing. Do this thing. Do this thing. Ooh, ooh. Do this thing. Do this thing. Yeah. Takes an awful long time, doesn't it? There we go. We're in. Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. I like Atticus. You're that scoundrel G, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Urgh. <laughs> take the thing at the end of Buffy, right? Urgh. Arg. <laughs> Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge. What? A plunge? 
A plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard! Alright, cool. Let's go. Whoop whoop. Chicken soup. I like chicken soup. As you all know, I was very ill over Christmas, and I ate a lot of chicken soup. Okay, Atticus, let's go. What are you sending at me? A skunk. Okay. Boop. God of all. Naught but punishment awaits thee. Wretch, a plague on your house. A plague on both your houses. <laughs> Someone can have 10,000 bonus points if you can tell me where that's from. Certain moves can poison with a mere gaze. And other words that I missed because I was talking beforehand. Oh, so is that... Okay, let's use Mystical Fire then. Okay, cool. It's toxic. Oh, do you know what I should have done? Which is a thought I did have. There are berries that you can give people or Pokemon to get rid of certain status effects. And I 100% meant to give all my Pokemon a berry to get rid of poison. And I totally forgot. Let's use Drain Inkis. <laughs> Because we're going to need to heal up some of that poison. It's energy drained. I think did good. So I guess that, I mean, has poison moves, but it's not a poison type. Is that what we're saying? 107. Okay. Um, hmm. No, we will keep our current Pokemon. So we send out Muck. Now, this is definitely a poison. So Cyborg should be super effective. There we go. Good. Infected. Uh, okay. Guard wall might go down. Wait, what? Is that a rev room? But I thought... Oh, it's actually going to send out the actual rev room. Okay. Fair enough. Sorry. Because that's also what's on the front of the car. So... You know what I am going to do? I'm going to heal her from poison because does okay medicine that can be used to fully restore to max HP of a Pokemon and cure any status condition that they have. Let's use this because I want to get rid of that poison and I want to heal it because it's going to take a hit. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, ouch! Alright, well, it's a good job that we healed up then. Uh, fire. I need the steel type. Excellent. See, I'm starting to learn what things are and what's weak to what. <laughs> Although I'm really glad. Oh, you think to give me a taste of mine own poison? Fine. I will fight thee with my car. For I have Atticus' car. And uh, Navi Star Mobile, 32. So we should be good. Um, yeah. Noxious Talk. Wow. And Poison. Oh no. Oh, it was poisoned. Okay, well, one side beam. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my days don't no, stay in. No, Gavador. Oh no. Oh, she was doing so well. Uh, right. Let's turn down Tauros. Tauros seems to be my MVP when it comes to Team Star. We're going to Zen Head put that thing into oblivion. You ready for this? Let's go. Noxious Talk. Yep, he's going to be fine. Oh, not even poison. What's that? Boom. Bye bye. Oh, what was that? Toxic Debris. And it fainted. So I don't think it matters. But even if it does matter, that's fine. We can just go back to the Poké Center. That's right. We're done. Good job, Tauros. And good job, Gardevoir. Who deserves any XP we get from that. Forgive me, my friends. A year and a half ago. <laughs> Here we go. Story time. Well, that's what you look like. Forgive me. It took a goodly time to 
produce procure the required materials. Whoa, sick. These boots are insane. Ah, yes. The move flame charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great infernal airy. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks, Atanarticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. <laughs> You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Articus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. I like Articus. Articus is probably my favourite. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. <laughs> Watch out, world. Our Articus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Articus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle training, so we're all prepared for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than ev- What is that shadow? Is that just a cloud? We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself, heart and soul, to honoring or honing my battle skills. It's just a cloud, nobody panic. <laughs> For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Thank you, Articus. Again, you are my favorite. All right. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover their foes in gunk. Gunk shot. Thank you. We like this. It's one of my favorite moves. G is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Hey, Clive. Don Atticus. My, my compadre. It seems this little fella has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? Hmm. When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied really bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me, haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss finally returns for us. <clears throat> this is a lot of conversation. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. Okay. By their own word, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, twould seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Although their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless precious, our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day they return. So that's why you don't go to school? But, but still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre? I owe you a great debt. 
It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the Academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students were struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Yes, Clive. You random student, you. Haha. <laughs> I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. Oh. Well, there's some personal growth for you. Alright. So, oh. Oh, we're coming outside and Cassiopeia. Ro to 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 to. Gee, it's me. I take it that Atticus handed over his star badge to you then. Yes, he did. I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi squad days are numbered. <clears throat> Even Atticus. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, G. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that your acquaintances. Have you known each other long? I mean... Uh, uh, I don't really know what to say, because... Uh, yeah, let's go for yes for a while, because I know he's Professor Crevel. And um, I guess we did some schooling off camera and stuff in the first episode, so... Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Back in what day? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star. Though you could hardly call it a contest, the bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after the other, and Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Hmm. Okay. Can now make more time. Okay. Make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you your bonus rewards. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Theories are coming up in my head. Let's do Penny first and then um, we'll go from there. Uh, hi, I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Ah, stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Ah! <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Hmm. Here's the big question. Is Cassiopeia a good guy or a bad guy? That's the big one right now. Wow. Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then... They became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the Academy is. What a massive idiot, creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. Okay. Yeah, I really don't know about that. 
I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. Thank you. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, G. Thanks, Pam. Okay. Alright. Um So, here's the big question. Cassiopeia. So my theory is that either the big boss, the big boss, I think, is the student that got sent away, right? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I think Cassiopeia is the deputy, but maybe he's not as uh, dastardly and as vicious as I think that maybe he might be. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's have a look. See where. Okay, that's the edge. So, there's the crater. Where are we? We are over here somewhere. Where am I? I'm here. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Okay. That's what it's supposed to look like. I'm here. There we go. I'm lost. Uh, right. Oh, too far. Where am I going? Oh, right up to the corner. Okay. So, we are going up this way. So, uh, let's go here and then drive up that way. Maybe we'll take on some of these raids as well. Uh, so, what is this? Fighting type? So, we're going to want Flying, Psychic, and Fairy. So, let's get our team ready now. Uh, she has Fairy moves. And she's psychic, so we'll definitely take out of all uh, flying. What do we say? Flying, psychic, and fairy. So Sylveon's going to be great for this one. And then we leave Charcadet in there. We leave Sandal. How many need to go up? He's 48. He's 50. Let's move to us up here. Uh, 53, 54, 60. Seven. All right, there's a couple that need to go up to 50, um, but I think just, yeah, it's fine. I think we'll leave that as our team for now. And let's go fly a kite. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Don't wanna go. Let's, actually, let's just follow the trail of raids, I think. Let's do a bunch of terror raids on the way. We've got time. And we'll head up to that one. Oops. That's a tree. <laughs> okay. And I know I could fly there. Um, but I quite fancy just taking a leisurely drive today. We've taken out the poison quite easy. Or oh, four star. And it's a fighting. So. Awesome. Will God. Okay, she's already fainted. So, will she get healed up if I do this? That'd be really cool if she will. <clears throat> so, I discovered while I was training um, over the last couple of days that even though you don't get XP so much from raids, you will get XP candy. Um, which is great, because then you can specifically target a particular Pokemon with that candy, and all well and good, right? So that is kind of the plan, um, is just to do as many raids as I can uh, to level up my Pokemon particularly. Oh, and she's full health. Okay, cool. So I guess a raid is kind of like a Pokestop as well, even though you also get damaged here, and Pokestop don't damage you, but you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, and this is a level 4 one. So, let's use Drain on this. Uh, just because we'll get a bit back from there as well. Um, I don't know how much damage is actually going to do to it, but we will get... Oh, we could. Awesome. Um, okay. It's starting to rain. <laughs> it's a bit crazy. 
Uh, what does this do? These are damages opposing performed by emitting a powerful flash. Oh, okay. Well, that's my strongest move. Well, let's, okay, well, let's see if it actually does. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh. I always thought Dazzling Gleam was like one of those status effect ones. Oh, good. Oh, what? That's a massive shield. Alright, here we go. Bam, let's pound this thing. I forgot about this. Alright, this fighting fish. The fighting fish are fully. <laughs> ah, four star raids are not easy, guys. Oh, come on, let's take down that shield. Let's go, go, go. Why is it move Why does it move to Mystical Fire? Okay, I'm gonna have to use uh, Dragon Kiss for that. Um, yep, because otherwise she's gonna faint and it's gonna. I um, can't play for a while, for five seconds. I got hit. How much did I drain? Okay, cool. Couple of Dragon Kisses then. Um, come on. Let's go, go, go. Ooh. I don't even know if I have one of these fish. I don't know if I do. I think I might, if we manage this, I might actually try and catch it. And I say try, I don't think you ever can lose these. Um, oh, one of us is down. Stop moving to Mr. Fire. Drink, kiss it please. Thank you. Oh, man. Come on. Once we take down that shield, we'll be fine. It's just, oh, man. I don't know if I should just risk I don't think Draining Kiss will do much against that shield, but it is helping Cloud will stay alive longer. <clears throat> okay, let's switch it up. Oh, oh no! Okay, no more Draining Kiss. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> um, I suggest, yeah. Come on, you can do this, we can still make it. Come on, God of War, please, 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 thank you. Yeah, let's, okay, let's use Mystical Fire, because at least that's going to have to on the shield, and I'm not using all the moves that are super effective against the fish. And maybe it'll get burnt. Um, and special attack fell, okay, cool. Come on, if we can get this shield down, we can make it, it's fine, come on, let's go, go, go! <laughs> Oh, this is so exciting! Aqua Jet. Okay, good. Good, good. <coughs> Let's do some fire stuff. Oh, almost. <coughs> we can do this. Come on. One more round of hits. Bunch of super effectives. And then we got this thing. God, I was confused. Come on. We're wasting time. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, everyone else, take down the shield. <gasps> oh, this is so tense. Three, two, one, zero. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright. Uh, we were blown out to the cavern. No fighting fish for us. I mean, I'm not particularly bothered about catching that one. The raid is still going to be there. Um, do I want to go again? That's the big question. <laughs> um, right. Let's find out if I actually have that fish first. Because I'm probably never going to use it. So, and it's a, no, I don't. Okay, I don't have it. Um, Alright, let's, let's try and get it. Let's also get these uh, 130 volumes. We got a Dusk Stone. Some... Dusk Balls. Oh, what is that? Shiny Stone. Oh! Eight more. So I have to catch eight more Pokemon that I've never seen before. Or that I've never caught before. And I get a big bit of candy. 
Um, okay. It's fighting. I wonder if maybe I should take Sylveon instead. Oh, <laughs> I've just gone inside the thing. Alright, well, I did say I'm going to go to the Poker Center anymore. Uh, let's take Sylveon instead. Let's see how that works out. <clears throat> oh, sorry, guys. My throat is very, um... Not dry, but it's like a bit gunky. That's okay. I brought a drink with me. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. Okay. Sylveon, we got this. We can do it. A little bit higher than the door. Not a dragon. Mm, okay, maybe I should have brought dragon. Okay, okay, but we're not going to damage her. It's not going to do as much damage to us. Um, and I may use light screen at some point. Um, so it's not doing much to us. That's a problem. It's totally going to put up a few, and then I'll start using swift. Um, okay, good, good, good. It's a fair amount of damage. Keep going, everyone. I really need to get Sylvia on some more aggressive moves. Um, I think I may need to take out that mystical barrier, whatever it's called, the one against the dragon types. Um, that's not doing okay. There's more burning pieces. Will I only do as much damage as I need health? Or will it suck out a bunch of it and then... I don't know. Alright, come on then. The further down we... Oh, it's too late. Shield time. Ugh. Oh, that's a big shield. Who's there? Going to to myself. Okay. Do you know, I don't think I'm going to get this. <laughs> Funnily enough. Alright, oh, let's do light screen. Uh, and that'll help everyone stay alive a bit longer. Yeah, it's still going to be confused. Of course I did, but it's still going to use light screen. Come on. I believe in you. Oh, come on, so you Alright, forget it. So swift. Going to snap out your confusion? That'd be great. Not doing much at all, yeah, I don't know. That's good. Mm. Okay, so I did better with Garbodor. Um, so for five turns now, we have a bit of protection. Yeah, let's just use Draining Kiss because. Mm. Okay, let's see how much this does. Let's see, we're confused. Good, good. See, not a lot. Not a lot at all, but I should get... I thought I was going to get more than that back. Let's try Yeah, I don't know why I don't trust to start with first Let, Okay, let's do this. If we don't do it this time, I'm just going to leave it, I think. Um, Four-star raids are quite difficult. Um, Maybe, maybe Raichu would be a bad idea because he's like level 60. <laughs> um, I have to say, the one where I caught Scyther was a four star raid, um, and that was that took me one or two times. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get this. This shield is just too much, I think. Um, let's just keep using it. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. There's no way we're gonna, we're gonna do this, but we'll keep going. And then we will make our way up to the fighting type. Um, I keep wanting to call them gins. Uh, the fighting time base. There we go. Uh, let's use here. Yeah, we're not going to make it. Oh, why am I on full health? 
Okay. <clears throat> Come on. This is a swift. Come on, let's get that barrier down. Come on, people. Oh, oh, is the barrier down? Is it down? Come on, come on. Can we stop wasting time with rooms and just attack the thing? <laughs> come on! <laughs> okay, shield's down. There isn't much time left. Yeah, no, I know. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Dreddy kids, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on! Come on, people. Stop throwing text at me and just let me attack it. Oh, come on! No! Oh, never mind. Oh, so close. So close. Okay, no, I'm leaving it. I don't want the fish that much. It's fine. I'm never going to use it, even if it's a fighting tire type and it's like level 45 or whatever. It's fine. Maybe one day I'll come back and get it. Or maybe I'll come back later off camera and try and catch it. I don't know. Oh, my days. All right. Now that I'm inside the tire thing, let's go get this Pokeball. Uh, get some zinc. Ooh. Okay. One moment, please. Because I need one of these. Because this is a version exclusive. It's a ditto. It's not a ditto. What? Oh, come on. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. I was so excited for a second and I was like, okay, hanging around you made it all worth it. No, apparently not. Ah, uh, that thing is a version exclusive, and I would have hung around you and tried to get to it. Now, is my Pokedex updated? Oh, days. Okay. That's a Mimikyu. There's loads of different there. Then Eevee. Did I see an Eevee? No, okay. No, let's go that. Actually, where am I going? Okay. They all can't be Zora things. Come here. I need two of you, okay? Please don't be fake. Good, 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 good. Right, level 28. Uh, let's just Ultra Ball it. Come on, I need two of you. There's one for me and one for Daddy Louie. And then we could... Oh, come on. Just, just get the ball. Okay, I don't even know what type it is. That's a problem. Uh, it's an uh, American football player type. <laughs> Susan Mystical Fire. See what happens. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Uh, right, let's get... Hang on. No one run away. Everyone stay where you are. No, 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 stay here, stay here. <coughs> Come on. Okay, let's hypnotize him. Fall asleep, get in the Pokeball, everyone's happy, okay? Please. <laughs> okay. Excellent. So I've got one. Alright. Oh, up to level 53. Fantasmic. Okay, fighting type. So the boss chooses 10 members of the group to go out hunting. The hunting party will evenly split the food they find with the rest of the group. That's cool. Alright, send the box. Awesome. Boop. Uh, oh, I, my Pokédex is in the wrong order, so I don't know if it evolves. 
probably doesn't. It doesn't look like an evolving type Pokemon. And you. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, that's not fair. <laughs> um, I don't care about you. Impy Dimpy. Soz. Or Impidimp, whatever your name is. Um, right. You, you tricky monkey. Get over here. There we go. Okay, Daddy Louie, this one's for you. Uh, okay, let's try the same thing again. Let's hypnotize it and put it in a bowl. Version exclusive number two. And one day I'm going to probably make a video where I just go hunting version exclusives. Once I have seen them all. Uh, this is the first time I've seen a past simian. Um, so yeah, while we're here, let's get two. Three. Oh no! Ah, come on. Uh, it's still asleep. Awesome. And all its friends are dancing around because they want a piece of this. <laughs> I only need two boys. I only need two. Oh, come on. Or maybe I'll catch a third one and we'll do a mystery trade gift thing. I woke up. Okay. Scary face. Ooh! <laughs> Speed fell. It's fine. Hypnosis. Come on. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, little Pokemon. Don't wake up, get in the ball, because I want to trade you for stuff. Alright, Ultra Ball, go! Oh, come on, you're sleeping. Stay in there. Like, a part of me wants to hit it, but I'm, it's 31 and I'm like 53, so... Uh, right, let's use... What do these do? Water bug. Lower the level. Okay, yeah, let's throw it in one of these then. Let's try a nest ball. Because it's a lower level than I am. Well, that didn't work at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's night time. Let's use a desk ball. See what happens. I think it's night time. It might just be the fact that we're under a tree. Oh, awesome! Hooray! Okay, that's one for Daddy Louie. One for me. Oh, Sandal did might go up. Is he going up? 48? No. Ah. Uh, no. Uh, no. Thank you. Center boxes, yeah. And let's catch one for a trade. Maybe we'll come across somebody who doesn't have one of these in Scarlet. And um, let's just catch one for fun. And I'll give away the weakest one. Maybe I'll keep the 32 for myself. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. Alright. Let's go. Let's use a desk ball again. Why not? Okay. Come on. Alright. Well, that was a lot easier. Happy days! Okay, so now San Salan Dot or whatever his name is, he should go up. Uh is that a Venomoth? Nice. I'm not gonna catch it. Um just never seen one in this game before. Obviously I've seen it before, because I know what it is. Uh it's a squirrel. Right, okay. Let's start heading for the place I said I was gonna head for. <laughs> oh, I'm like way off. How am I? Oh, because the bot... Okay. I really wish this map would just stay still and not rotate all the time. Okay, so this is where I want to go. Actually, let's head for the Pokemon Center. Uh, where is it? Okay, let's just take a direct line. Because now we can climb. Ignoring everything. Okay. Can I just grab... The Thank you. <laughs> but... What is... What? What is that? Oh, it's a little pinky. Ah! What are they chasing me? Well, at least I know where to find them if I ever want. Ah, no! <laughs> okay, well, let's see what Gengar would have done to one of these things had it actually attacked. Oh, would not have killed him. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Failed. Can't help myself, guys. I can't help myself. 
It's a version exclusive. The more I've got, the more I can trade for better stuff. Okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Scary face. <clears throat> Alright. If it survives, which I don't think it will. There you go. Tempted. Yep. That's it. More on your fallen comrade. Follow me now, monkey boys. <laughs> Come on, my dog. There we go. Good man. Oh, well, not really a man. You're a good Pokemon. Have to say, like this move terrifies. If this is real life, I would be screaming my head off. Um, okay, over this way, and we're gonna try to ignore all the Pokemon we come across, unless I know it's a version exclusive. In which case, I will try and catch two. But I, I'm pretty sure I've been down this way, and there's nothing exclusively down here. So, oh, it's a good one. It's a Scyther. Wow, there's a lot of Pokemon. Uh, which way do you want to go? Go this way. Rockix. Oh no, there's a the Poker Center. So that's the way we want to go. Alright, cool. I like this area. It's very... Bum <gasps> that's a Heracross. I want a Heracross. I want a Heracross now. Oh, and it's level 50. Okay, it's Bug, right? So... Play it to sleep. There you go. All right, cool. It's level fifty, so I'm not really that afraid to hit it. Um, I love Heracross. Look how cool Heracross is. Okay, see Shadow Ball. I kind of forgot I got rid of Hex. <laughs> okay. And Heracross woke up. All right, fine. Use thrash. Doesn't affect Gengar. Cool. Uh, what else do we have? Sucker Punch. Let's not. Let's put it back to sleep and try and catch it. Oh, and I've got the Pokeball for... Oh, you avoided. Okay. Pin Missile. That's fine. Pin my... Okay. <laughs> it's disabled, but it's going to carry on attacking anyway. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not very effective. You could have fooled me. Right, hypnosis. Come on, send it asleep. There we go. <clears throat> and we're going to use a not a nest ball. There's a ball that works with bugs, right? A bug ball. <laughs> oh man, this is so cool. I love Heracross. Uh, is it nest ball? Is it this one? No. Uh, water bug. There we go. Net ball. Oop. Come on. One, two, three. Yes! <laughs> I got a hair across. Yeah! I'm so happy. Considering in real life, I really don't like bugs. I really do like bug Pokemon. <laughs> and it's fighting. Nice. With its Herculean powers, it can easily throw around an object that is 100 times its own weight. Awesome. Uh, go to boxes. Uh, I'll probably never use you, but I love the fact that I have you. So thanks for coming along. And someone remind me to change my Pokedex. <laughs> uh, back to the way that it is. Uh, wait. Oh, it's up. Oh, okay. <clears throat> it's up there. Oh, there's a bunch of those monkey things. So I'm gonna collect that over here. Uh, nope. <laughs> Not right now, but thank you for coming. Alright, uh, okay. Let's get to the Poker Center. Let's heal up. And, um... Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a little toadstool thing. Hi, Nurse Joy. Yes, please. Alright, cool. Let's get those guys healed up. It has just occurred to me that Garbodor isn't in the team anymore. So coming to Nurse Joy was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. And let's have a look. Where is Team Star? Team Star is over there. But for right now, guys, I'm gonna leave it there with Team Star 
plainly in the background tomorrow. We are going to be taking on the final Team Star base. Thank you, as always, for joining me today, and I promise that tomorrow I will try not to get as distracted as I did today. Guys, thank you again so much. Check out my Instagram account. Uh, the description is in the... No, the link is in the description below, not the other way around. <laughs> and as always, I have been the Atomic Ninja G, and you guys have been awesome. Catch you later, Ninja Clan. Bye.